Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The skies are about to get a whole lot faster, fiercer, and frankly, a bit terrifying. The United States has reportedly thrown down the gauntlet with a seventh generation behemoth that makes every other plane on the planet look like a paper airplane. While Russia and China are still tinkering with their sixth generation toys, the US is already sprinting toward the future with the SR-72. This fighter jet with hypersonic speeds, AI-powered dogfighting algorithms, laser weapons that could slice a missile in half, and the ability to switch seamlessly between manned and unmanned mode is sending geopolitical shockwaves across the globe. Join us as we reveal what this fighter jet is going to have and what it means for Russia and China. In the United States, the development of the next generation of fighter aircraft is well underway, with significant advancements in hypersonics, space, sensing, and artificial intelligence, AI, driving innovation. While the seventh generation fighter is still in the development stage, progress has been made towards its production. The use of digital technologies has been instrumental in informing the design of future fighters, with the Pentagon considering potential innovations that could inspire the creation of a seventh, eighth generation stealth fighter. A major breakthrough in the aircraft industry has enabled the creation of aircraft 10 times faster than previous records held by the F-22 or F-35. This breakthrough is attributed to the implementation of AI throughout the aircraft creation process, from conceptualization to simulating real combat situations. Notably, this marks the first time that the formulation of tasks in the U.S. military industry has been assigned to a neural network AI rather than generals. AI has significantly accelerated the development process, particularly in the most challenging stages, which typically consume 90% of the total development time. AI's potential to revolutionize aircraft design is evident in its ability to consider multiple designs simultaneously, perform strategic and tactical tasks, stimulate airframe and power plant performance, and predict aircraft performance in the air. Additionally, AI can take into account the latest technological advancements and material availability, making human input unnecessary for the next generation air dominance program. In parallel, Lockheed Martin Skunk Works has disclosed information about the SR-72 program, which aims to succeed the SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance aircraft. The SR-72 will be a strike and reconnaissance aircraft capable of reaching speeds exceeding Mach 6, achieved through a combined cycle propulsion system that merges a supersonic jet engine with a rocket engine. This next generation aircraft will feature advanced technologies such as conformal sensors, blended antennas, AI-enabled sensing and computing, manned unmanned teaming, smart skins with integrated sensors, and enhanced stealth properties. The next generation of aircraft, potentially including the sixth, seventh generation, is expected to feature advanced stealth capabilities and a new body design resembling the sleek, blended wing body of the B-2 bomber. This design aims to enhance stealthiness and survivability against modern threats. The SR-72 concept, based on the successful Blackbird, is designed to achieve even higher speeds, surpassing Mach 5 to evade advanced air defenses. While the Blackbird achieved a top speed of Mach 3.2, its unique Pratt & Whitney J-58 turbojet engine, with variable geometry nozzles and airflow management systems, may have allowed it to reach even higher speeds. However, modern air defenses require faster speeds, necessitating exotic propulsion systems. To achieve hypersonic speeds above Mach 5, the SR-72 is developing a turbine-based combined cycle engine that combines turbofan engines for takeoff and landing with a scramjet for high-speed flight. This engine aims to provide the necessary power for both phases of flight, addressing the challenges of managing airflow from standstill to hypersonic speeds. While conventional jet engines are efficient at low speeds but struggle at hypersonic speeds, ramjets and scramjets excel at high speeds but are ineffective at low speeds. The new engine design aims to overcome these limitations by combining the strengths of both types of engines. Ramjets utilize a blocking body to slow down and compress inflowing air for ignition, while scramjets face the challenge of igniting fuel and supersonic airflow. Despite these challenges, scramjets are believed to be capable of reaching speeds above Mach 10. The visionary startup Hermes has secured the SR-72 contract to develop reusable hypersonic aircraft aimed at transforming global human transportation. Their success could revolutionize air travel for the U.S. Air Force with potential civilian and military applications. Their Mach-E 5 aircraft can travel over 3,000 km per hour, surpassing supersonic speeds, promising significantly reduced travel times. Hermes showcased their turbojet-ramjet engine concept in a high-speed wind tunnel, a crucial step in their development. 
However, a joint team from Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works and Aerojet Rocketdyne might have achieved a similar breakthrough. The sixth generation fighter, compared to its successor, boasts features like the potential for high energy laser weapons, although current systems are underpowered. It relies on various missiles, including hypersonic ones, until laser technology advances. The aircraft's variable cycle engine, with a turbojet for hypersonic mode and a ramjet for hypersonic speeds, allows seamless transition without altering the aircraft's configuration mid-flight. Its radar stealthy design, including special coatings and onboard equipment, counters enemy radars, enhancing its stealth capabilities. The aircraft's adaptability is a highlight, featuring interchangeable equipment blocks for specific missions. Its unmanned control function enables hypersonic flight and extreme maneuvers expanding its capabilities significantly. The seventh generation fighter is a revolutionary aircraft designed for near space operations, capable of flying at 124 miles above sea level. Unlike its predecessors, it features a cockpitless design, focusing on a cooling system to manage high thermal loads. This aircraft is tailored to navigate advanced air defense systems like Russia's S-500, making it a crucial asset for modern air forces. Its primary focus is on performance, specifically hypersonic speeds, rather than stealth. The design draws inspiration from Star Wars T-65 X-Wing space fighters, but is optimized for atmospheric rather than airless space operations. To withstand the harsh conditions of near space flight, the aircraft's airframe is built with heat-resistant steel alloys, titanium, ceramics, and composites. Its advanced features include swept ring and volume trick air intakes, with its payload placed inside the aerodynamic fuselage to minimize heating during hypersonic modes. The combined cycle power plant, originally developed for the SR-72, enables hypersonic flight. Due to the risks of hypersonic speeds to pilots, the seventh generation fighter will be remotely controlled in an autonomous, unmanned mode, utilizing an onboard combat control system connected to the Link-16 network for coordinated combat operations involving satellites, warships, submarines, aviation drones, and artillery. The U.S. Air Force is looking towards energy weapons for near space operations, as conventional bombs and missiles aren't suitable for this environment. The seventh generation fighter is expected to utilize energy weapons like powerful lasers and hypersonic missiles to target enemy satellites and strategic ground objects. These weapons could disable nuclear power plants and reactors. Additionally, the fighter may serve as a platform for launching rockets without a booster engine, making them more compact and cost-effective. This advanced fighter is predicted to significantly impact future combat operations, but it comes with a high cost. Each plane is estimated to cost several hundred million dollars, making the United States the only country with the financial capability to afford such expenses. Critics of large military budgets need to consider that not all countries are allies of the U.S., and maintaining military strength is crucial for protection against potential aggressors. The U.S. has a history of pioneering advanced fighter technology, with the F-22 Raptor being a prime example. It was the first to develop a fifth-generation fighter and currently operates two types of fifth-generation fighters, including the F-35 Lightning II. These fighters have no direct competitors, although Russia's Su-57 and China's Chengdu J-20 and Shenyang J-31 are in various stages of development and testing. One of the challenges of serial production of advanced fighters is the need for suitable engines, an area where China is facing issues. Despite these challenges, the U.S. remains at the forefront of fighter aircraft development and deployment. With the potential emergence of a thousand new fighter planes from Russia and China, it's crucial for the United States to stay ahead by developing sixth and seventh generation fighters. These new aircraft could be smaller, stealthier, and equipped with advanced technology like miniaturized sensors and hypersonic capabilities. This would allow them to operate in space, conducting both combat and surveillance missions. The ability of these fighters to fly at hypersonic speeds on a single tank of fuel makes them versatile for air and space operations, including the destruction of enemy fighters, satellites, or missiles. The U.S.'s progress in testing these seventh-generation fighters is significant and could prompt countries beyond Russia and China to reassess their aviation strategies. This advancement has the potential to revolutionize future air and space warfare. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the next video as well. See you again.